So what is a web ID? It's basically your editor that you have normally locally, but then inside of GitLab. Um, now, there's a million people that did this. Um, and the problem is, is that it never really works well because uh, it's a separate environment. It's not as fast. But we have, and yeah, you need all the other tools. You still need a GitLab. But we have the GitLab. Um, and so what we can do is we can build in features specific to GitLab in the web ID. So you get multiple bonuses. And, and one of the ones that we have already there is advanced reviewing. So typically, if you want to review a merge request, like this one, you would click on Changes, and you look here. And then if you want to edit it, you click on Edit, and you just get a big screen, white screen, and then you edit it. So with the web ID, what you can do is you can click here on web ID, and it loads the web ID. And then, so for one, you see here the diff, as you would expect it. So you, you see on the left side what was former, and on the right side what is the new changes. And you can even preview the markdown right here. Um, but the nice thing is, is that because this is an editor, what you can do now is you can switch between reviewing the specific merge request to editing the same file. So let's make a change here. It was cool. And now I can go back, and what I can do is I can review the changes that I made specific just now. So I can review what the changes is that I made on this merge request. So you see here, you have a school and nothing else. And then I can even go. No, I won't. I won't merge it. And then I can even review the entire merge request with my commit on top. So I see here the original change, and I think somewhere on top you see the change that I made. Uh, this is something that you can't do anywhere else, and I think it's really cool. And the changes that you make, you see here on the right, under stage, um, you can write commit message. You, I can commit it directly to the same branch. I can create a new branch. I can even create a new branch and a merge request that's already pointed in the right direction. And I can do this in general. So I can just make changes to any file that I want. So uh, just like a real editor. So I can open config.rb, and I could make changes here, and I can go back to this one. And you see, for instance, here, by the icon that this one is staged, it has changes, and this one doesn't have changes. This is incredibly powerful. Uh, and this is just the beginning. And there's so much cool stuff coming still. So uh, I'm very happy about this, and I'm very, very excited about this stuff. So I wanted to share that. So, you, so GitHub, Bitbucket, they don't do this. They don't do this. So what they do is they build local clients. So GitHub has Atom, which is also open source. Uh, but it's all local, so you still have to install it. So the idea behind all of this and the intent that we take while designing this is that we want to lower the threshold to contribution so that you, like, for one, the editor is very easy to use, but it's also just very obvious, and everyone is able to contribute through this editor. So in the future, it will be live preview. So you make a change to the website. You don't have to install anything locally because we already have everything in GitLab, and now you can just do it right there. Um, so given that there's a million little things to do, if you're just thinking about like how, what the behavior is of the tabs, like that's, you can spend a lot of time on that. So that's why we wanted to make it available in course so people can contribute to it. Um, but then there's a lot of cool advanced functionality that only we can do that we all uh, reserve for ultimate or maybe all the tiers. Um, so yeah, and, and my hope is, is that eventually, you know, and there won't be anyone uh, joining GitLab that needs to learn how to run things locally. If oh, they darn. Just <laughs> I'm actually really excited about this. Great work. Yeah, the non-technical, the development side, this is, this is huge. Yeah, and I, I, I don't even want to call people non-technical, right? You're still making commits, like you're doing. Yeah. Like, it's it's still quite an effort, but we're really like we're all our all our personal efforts as the company. We're focusing on making it very simple to use, uh, and then the rest will come. And I'm already seeing like this is 10.7, and I already see what it's running for 10.8, and it's even better. So I'm already thinking to myself, like, yes, it's gonna be so nice. Like you said, it's, it makes it easier for every, to 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 our what was set for it, everyone to contribute. That's yeah. fine. I think a good example here is perhaps like, you know, early students, maybe high school students who are starting to work off of Chromebooks and things like that, that are, don't, aren't necessarily mature development environments. So you can start to use GitLab more and more for everything. And there's lots of other creative angles for this as well. It's, it's not just non-technical or less technical people or beginners. It's also like, hey, 
our GitLab website, I have that client locally. I want to be able to do a fast commit. But somebody else's project, like the BizOps README, I don't have that clone locally yet. Like I want to do a commit. I want to help somebody else. I can now quickly do it. I don't have to wait for a clone to complete or something like that. So it's also just um, if you're in a big company, there's all these silos, all these people working on their own things. Inner sourcing, having contributions from other teams just really enables that. And then obviously we're going to go beyond just a web ID. We're going to make it easy to run, to run everything as, a, as an application platform. One of the nice things. Yeah, go ahead. I, I was going to say, um, kind of thinking about scaling here. Uh, not, I mean, I love for you to join the sales team call, but I, I want to also make sure Ashish or his team knows this because they're the one who's also going to be talking about this to the sales team in the world. So whatever's in your head, let's make sure it goes down to Ashish and his team and they can distribute it to a million people or 2 billion people, whatever it is. So yeah, James is making a video. So there will be a video, yeah. I think by the time of the release already. So you can, you can see that. Cool. Yeah, that, cool. That's my expectation is that Ashish's team, product marketing would be able to answer what you just said. And if that's yeah. a wrong expectation, let me know, but that would be my expectation. No, no, no I agree. I agree. No, exactly. Okay. I'd be a bit mad at, but this is being recorded and I encourage us to upload this to YouTube as a listed video so everyone can, can see this demo. Sure. Yeah. I mean, James will make a nicer demo than I did. He will show For sure. Me. But this one will be a, a few days early and I'm sure it will contain <laughs> a bit of inspiration. Who does? Who does? All right. Uh, that was it for me. Oh, and I, I, I um, archived.